They debated long into the night over sweeping new restrictions on abortion. This bill would preclude women receiving critical health care services because licensed abortion facilities would be closed. Well, we have not talked about the children and the babies enough in this debate. We just haven't. Tensions ran high on the Texas Senate floor and up above in the gallery. Four women protesting for abortion rights tried chaining themselves to the rails. One was successful, delaying debate for 10 minutes. Debate over the bill took place before an audience of abortion rights advocates wearing orange and abortion opponents clad in blue. A Capitol packed with activists cried shame after the Senate passed the bill. House Bill 2 is finally passed. Congratulations, Senator. It bans abortions after 20 weeks. It limits where and when women can take abortion-inducing pills. It requires doctors to have admitting privileges at nearby hospitals and allows abortions only at surgical centers. Supporters say it will make the procedure safer. This bill encourages abortion doctors to be more responsible and accountable to women. Opponents say the bill will force the closure of all but five abortion clinics in Texas. And those of us in the Senate should refuse to make this decision casually or quickly. After the session ended, Senator Wendy Davis, who gained fame after her filibuster helped block the last abortion bill, spoke to supporters outside. As Governor Ann Richards said when she ran for the governorship of this great state, for the principle that this capital belongs to the people and one day, hopefully soon, we're going to return it to the people of the The bill now goes to Governor Rick Perry's desk and he's expected to sign it. John Moan Associated Press, Austin.